parents will go to incredible lengths to keep their family safe, and this includes getting monitors. But what happens when the technology that they use to keep an eye on their kids becomes sources of sheer terror? What happens when those monitors catch something unexpected? Here are 10 unsettling things caught on family monitors. Number 10 are alien voices. When it comes to baby monitors, the only voices that parents want to hear coming through them is that of their child. But for at least one mother, she found herself scared and not understanding the fact that the voice was not only not her child's, but not human at all. The woman who goes by YouTube handle Celerity789 was in her baby's room when she heard a bizarre voice coming through the monitor. Turning on her phone's camera, she recorded the strange audio and eventually uploaded it. Whatever voices are coming through the speaker are heavily distorted and a number of people who saw the video commented that they sound alien in origin. Regardless of the source of the voices, they were enough to terrify the young mother. Number nine is daddy's looking for you. Some of the most frightening things that can be experienced with a baby monitor aren't paranormal at all, but the result of sick individuals looking to torment parents. A couple in Washington DC had a baby monitor set up in their three-year-old son's bedroom, which connected to Wi-Fi so that they could keep an eye on things going on at home while they were at work or otherwise away. Of course, almost anything that's connected to the internet is susceptible to hacking, something the parents learned when their son began complaining that he couldn't sleep because of the man on the monitor. Investigating, they discovered that the lens from the device was following them. Then a deep voice called through it, wake up little boy, daddy's looking for you. The couple immediately changed their Wi-Fi password after this event. Number eight is the singing woman. After a 10 year old boy became stressed over the supposed paranormal activity surrounding him, his parents decided to go on vacation and get him out of their house in Connecticut. While away, they left their younger son at home with his grandmother. Almost immediately after the eldest brother was gone, the supernatural entity seemed to become attached to the infant. One night, his grandmother heard noises coming from the boy's baby monitor, followed by the soft voice of a woman who was clearly in the room talking to him. As the grandmother went to investigate, she heard singing coming from the baby's vicinity. Thinking it was simply the TV left on, she was alarmed when she went in to find the room dark, with nothing there to make the sounds. After that chilling night, the grandmother refused to return to the house. Number seven are the bells. Reddit user Winglamo had a truly unsettling experience with a baby monitor, though in their case, no children were involved. They worked with elderly parents in their homes, taking care of people with dementia and other debilitating conditions. One such client was prone to falls, so to warn the care workers that she was getting up, they pinned bells to her sheets and used a baby monitor to watch her when they heard them ring. This elderly woman would do creepy things such as talking to empty rooms and asking asking who are you and what is it, as if she could see someone. Checking the video feed, nothing else was in the room, unless of course you count the ghosts that the old lady was clearly conversing with. Number six is talking to grandma. 
A Reddit poster with the username Fred the Fish uploaded his own creepy story about a baby monitor, his complete with the ghost of his long lost grandmother. One night, Fred's uncle heard his daughter whispering quietly to someone else in her bedroom through the monitor, someone his uncle was unable to see. As he listened, a second voice made itself heard, this one sounding an awful lot like the girl's grandmother who hadn't been alive for over a year. When he questioned his daughter, who he was talking to, the young lady declared that she'd been conversing with her grandmother and that the old woman's ghost had helped her get her dolly back. Sure enough, the doll, which had recently been on the floor by the crib, was somehow now in the child's bed with her. Number five is the stuck friend. An unidentified woman was babysitting her young niece when she heard the girl whispering to someone. The child had an invisible friend for a bit prior to that night, so the woman thought little of it. That is, until she glanced at the video baby monitor in the young girl's bedroom and spotted what appeared to be a dark shadow-like figure moving in the room beside the girl's bed. The girl, meanwhile, was standing there talking to it as if she knew the ghost well. Alarmed, the babysitter ran ran in to investigate, only to find the room had only one visible occupant. The little girl would later inform her that the ghost she was speaking with was her friend, an older grandfather-esque man. When the young lady's family moved years later, she was devastated, as the old man couldn't leave because he was stuck there. Number 4 is The Bright Face while at a friend's house, Redditor GRZMNKY had a terrifying experience with the help of a video baby monitor. The two adults were watching a movie with a receiver for the surveillance system on the table in front of them. Suddenly, the baby's crib was replaced by a bright white face, which proceeded to stare into the lens and smirk. Alarmed, the pair jumped up and ran to the child's room only to find the baby alone and asleep. A few minutes later, the face appeared again. While the baby's mother stayed behind to watch the monitor, the other crept up to the baby's room only to find the infant standing up and smiling at the camera. The woman laughed it off, that is until days later when the mother saw the face again, only this time her baby was in her arms. Number three is just a teddy bear. In 2016, after their 18-month-old son Sebastian attempted to climb out of his crib, 39-year-old Laura Haig and 42-year-old Dean Evans of Plymouth, Devon, England decided to keep an eye on him using a video baby monitor, but the scariest thing they spotted wasn't actually an escape, but an unexpected visitor. On the night of June 8, 2016, the couple looked to the monitor to see Sebastian fast asleep. However, also seemingly asleep was what appeared to be the ghost of another baby. Dismissing it as just a teddy bear, Evans went went upstairs to his son's room, only to find the bed completely devoid of toys of any kind. According to Laura, there were several other paranormal events that took place prior to the ghost infant's appearance, but since it didn't seem malicious, they remained in the home. Number two is ghost scratching. One night in early March of 2019, parents Heather Burra and Josh Higgins were having a night in in their Highland Township, Michigan home when they spotted something strange on their video baby monitor that would ultimately terrify both of them and change their lives forever. The couple's 15-month-old daughter, Lily, was in her crib when something else in the room caught the attention of her and her parents. In the recorded footage, a translucent figure seems to be walking past the front of the infant's crib as she stands up and follows it with her eyes. Running to their child's rescue, Heather and Josh discovered that she had scratches on her, as if she'd been attacked by an unseen force. The family decided to all sleep in the same room until they could save enough money to move into a less haunted home.
And number one is Impossible Balance. On March 9th, 2016, YouTuber Chris Buell uploaded a video that quickly went viral. In the clip, which was captured from a friend of Buell's video baby monitor, you can see an infant named Connor displaying a strength and agility that most adults don't have, as he pulls himself up onto the railing of his crib before standing up. Somehow, Connor is able to maintain his balance on the precarious edge for nearly 20 seconds, though he seems to be supported by something that we can't see, something that also appears to pull on the child's arm several times. At one point, the infant bellows loudly and calls out mommy before he falls back, luckily into the crib. Though if you watch carefully, you may notice that he doesn't just seem to fall, he seems to be pulled down again by some unseen force. Ow! 